Good day and welcome back to Mathematics Grade 2. Today we're going to take a look at the work for week 5, day 3, which is addition and subtraction to 50. If you have any inquiries, please feel free to contact me via email at teachinarisha at gmail.com. For the accounting activity, please look on the screen and do as follows. Please pause this page as the children do the accounting activity. For mental maths, only allocate one minute per section for the number bonds of 10 and for the repeated addition of 4. The goal and aim for today's lesson is to do addition and subtraction up to 50 and to make use of the correct symbols, which is a plus, a minus, an equal and a question mark. Today we are also going to look at the drawings and place value to do and answer the sums. So first we're going to look at the drawings. So over here I have 26 plus 17 and 50 minus 23. So first let's do 26 plus 17. Over here I have a 50 grid because we're only going to do sums up to 50. How do I know this is a 50 grid? Because I have 10 blocks across and 5 rows. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 rows. So it's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. And the same down below. So first I'm going to put in 26 yellow balls. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Now I have to add 17 green balls. So let's start counting. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So we already know that I have 26 yellow balls. So now we can count from 26 to add the 17. So 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43. So 26 plus 17 equals 43. Now we want to know what is 50 minus 23. So first I know I need 50 counters. So over here I have 50 triangles. I have to take away 23 of them. So let's start. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. So now let's count how many triangles we have left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. So 50 minus 23 equals 27. Now let's look at the place value. So if we do addition, we will do our first step, which is look at the question. So for this question, we have 23 plus 45. So step two is to add only the tens. So in 23, I have 20 and 40. So I have two tens and four tens, so it's 20 and 40. 20 plus 40 equals 60. 2 plus 4 is 6, and then we add a 0, 60. Step three is to add the ones. So we have a 3 and a 5. 3 plus 5 equals 8. Step four is always going to be to add the answers. So first I have 60 plus 8 equals 68. Therefore 23 plus 45 equals 68. Now, I have 17 plus 32. So our first step is to look at the sum. So 17 is 110, so it's 10, and there's 7 ones, and then we have 30, which is 3 tens and two ones. So step two is to add the 10. So it's 10 plus 30. And that gives us 40 because one plus three is four. Then we add the zero is 40. Step three is to add the ones. Seven plus two equals nine. 
Step four will always be to add the answers. So 40 plus 9 equals 49. Because 40 is the answer and 9 is the answer. 40 plus 9 equals 49. Therefore 17 plus 32 equals 49. Now let's look at the place value of subtraction. So first we have the question with the sum. We have to look at it and we see it's 43 minus 21. So it's a 43 minus 21. Then we do our step 2 which is to take away the 10s. Take away the 1s because we are busy with subtraction. And then to add the answers. So 43 minus 21 equals what? Step 1. It's 40. 3, so it's 4 tens, which is 40, and 3 ones, 2 tens, 20, and 1 unit. Step 2 is to add, to take away the tens, because we are busy to subtract. So 40 minus 20 equals 20, because 4 take away 2 equals 2, then we add the 0, it's 20. Step 3 is to minus our ones, so 3 minus 1 equals 2. And then step 4 will always be to plus our answers. So we have 20 and 2. So 20 plus 2 equals 22. Therefore, 43 minus 21 equals 22. Thank you so much for coming today. Tomorrow we are going to continue with addition and subtraction of up to 50. But we are going to take a look at different methods.